Hello my lovelies, today's video I've got some exciting news for you guys okay for those of you who are thinking of coming to work here in the UK. Today's video is going to be bringing you a little ray of sunshine hopefully okay. So essentially a few days ago the new Prime Minister Liz Truss made some announcements that there were going to be some changes to the immigration policy which basically means that the UK is going to be opening its doors to more foreign workers. Great news right but there's a whole lot of other things that was actually mentioned in this announcement and I want to share that with you guys because I think you are definitely going to want to hear all about it. So if you haven't already done so do make sure you take the time to like this video make sure you share this video with anyone else who might be interested in hearing this information because this could be really really valuable information for anyone who is actually thinking of coming here over to the UK to live and work. Like I was saying before this new announcement is essentially going to be changing the way the immigration policy of the UK is currently set. This recent announcement the UK is actually going to be opening its doors to more foreign workers. Good news right? But particularly to foreign workers from the agricultural sectors and those who are also in the health and social care sector. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to share the article with you guys and I'm going to be breaking down exactly what each of these parts means for you and what you need to be taking away from this article. Well, the article itself basically shows, like I was mentioning earlier on, that there are plans for more immigration in an effort for them to actually fill vacancies and drive growth. Okay, so this is good news because obviously they are saying that they have plans to increase immigration because they want to bring more workers to the UK because there's obviously a shortfall of workers in the UK and they are recognizing that and they want to make changes to this policy. Okay, so the other part of the next part of this article that I want to draw your attention to in particular is obviously where it says that the government will lift the cap on seasonal agricultural workers and broadband engineers and make other changes to the shortage occupations list which will allow key sectors to recruit more overseas staff. So this is obviously great news because it's two things. If you're an agricultural worker who is looking for seasonal work here in the UK, this is going to be brilliant because it means that there's no longer going to be that cap, hopefully, and it means that more and more companies will actually be looking to bring in more foreign agricultural workers, okay? The other part of this paragraph that I want to highlight is the fact here that they are actually looking to make changes to the shortage occupations list. For now, we don't exactly know what other roles will be added to that list, but hopefully it looks like it will be good news. So fingers crossed, once they make changes to the shortage occupations list, that will in itself allow more foreign workers to be able to actually come to the UK through the skilled worker visa route or any other visa routes that they might have planned on the back. The other part I want to highlight to you guys is where the article is actually suggesting that there could be an ease in the current English language requirements in some sectors to enable more foreign workers to qualify for the visas. So that means if you're from a non-English speaking country or if you've been trying to apply for any of the visas so far and you've not been having luck maybe due to the fact that you've not been able to complete the required English language um, certifications then this could be good news because they're actually looking to ease that requirement. Hopefully it means that more people will actually be able to successfully pass that test and be able to qualify for the relevant visas. The article then goes on to further suggest that ministers are now actually discussing whether they want to allow more highly educated workers from across the globe. This is good news, right? Because it says here that they're also considering proposals for a new visa for workers who have graduated from one of the top 50 or top 100 global universities. So this is really, really big. This is not just about them removing the cap, but they're also actually potentially looking to increase the amount of highly educated workers that are gonna be allowed to actually come here to work in the UK. Guys, just to show you just how promising this looks, okay? 
they've gone on to further highlight that there's actually currently 2 million UK job vacancies that were advertised as at last month, with the social sector trying to fill 105,000 posts. There is also a shortfall of 40,000 nurses and 100,000 HGV drivers, and the farming industry has also called for an extra 30,000 visas for seasonal workers. So this is fantastic news, okay? This looks very, very promising because already it means that there are a lot of job vacancies and once this immigration policy is actually fulfilled and the changes are made, it could mean that more and more foreign workers can actually come here to work in the UK. So if you are looking to come here to work in the UK, this is definitely promising and this hopefully should reignite your hopes of actually coming here to work in the UK. In terms of when this policy is actually going to be coming in, we don't actually have a time or a date as to when they will actually be formally, you know, bringing those changes in. But they have stated that the Home Secretary will be making an update on the immigration policy and that she'll be making that update in the next few weeks okay so you guys this is great news from what i can see so do make sure you stay tuned gather all your relevant documents and get ready because hopefully once this new policy goes ahead you can obviously start to gear up and make those preparations to apply for the relevant jobs okay so thank you guys so much for tuning in and i'll see you in my next video